it would be it would be hard to overstate the degree to which I'm haunted by Richard Rogers through these songs. My name is Daniel Kluger. I'm nominated for orchestrations for Oklahoma. I'm extremely grateful to my parents, in particular my mother, for the unthinkable amount of energy they put into making me sit at the piano and practice when I probably wanted to do something else. Uh, my father worked for the New York Philharmonic. And when I was one year old, we moved to a suburb of Philadelphia, and I grew up there. I have this early memory of uh, waiting around in my dad's office while he was working during a concert, and he had like one of those old closed circuit monitor TVs playing the concert, uh, like at a really low level. That's how I heard a lot of classical music through that low speaker. My child self was a big, nerd about show tunes. So, but he was learning the songs from a real book, playing jazz versions of them. A couple of friends from middle school started a, uh, we started a band and I played guitar and drums, Nirvana. Those guys are amazing. <laughs> anyway, I think I got all that out of my system, although I still would like to be in a rock band. We had a household where there were, all, there was all kinds of music playing all the time. So we, we were going to the orchestra. We had orchestra recordings playing on the t all the time. I also loved James Taylor and Billy Joel. And I was playing jazz, learning songs that I had never heard before from a, a real book. I was a chorus boy in Oliver, and I played young Patrick and Auntie Mame in the community theater. And so I think I absorbed some of the culture of it fell into it, I think, before it was a huge, before it was a choice, and then did high school theater, and I, I wanted to pursue music seriously and played jazz piano. I got a job as an accompanist for actors taking singing lessons, and it's a very deep meditative practice about figuring out how to be a musician in support of what someone's doing dramatically. I, I caught the bug about of, of being around actors. And then I figured out, I think, that I could make a living providing music for drama. The collaborative space of theater is one of the best things about it. I didn't become a performing musician because I couldn't stand to spend that much time alone. We live in a pretty solipsistic culture that is totally focused on individuals. And the theater is one of the places that celebrates what what a group of people can do. And I think it's important not to lose track of that. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. And and I'm and I'm excited for myself, but for the production and for the material to get another look. These songs are really important to musical theater culture, but I think that uh, our approach to this production is reaching outside the usual musical theater culture in a way that could have a really beneficial impact on other kinds of cross-pollination in the theater and, and, and uh, different you know, collaborative models of uh, approaching classic works in a different way. <laughs>